Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the software development market. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, do you feel that the software development market is oversaturated? Yes, but it depends on what you're talking about. If you're talking about systems in terms of like things that do things like, you know, if we have different types of applications yeah, yeah absolutely like uh, I mean there are it's no different from I mean is the flower shop market oversaturated well you can buy flowers from more places than you need flowers so we could discuss if that's you know oversaturated or not and software development is sort of the same thing we have a few of these platforms that um, sort of like has taken over and then we have all the different competitors to those platforms and we are like churning out new applications all the time but I'm assuming here since you're asking me as a software developer if the hiring or like the software developers role or like programming as a software developer is an oversaturated, oversaturated market so I wouldn't say that it's oversaturated in the sense that there are too many software developers uh, because the the reality is that yes there are a lot of software developers who are subpar or some know some coding but it's still not at the point where you know there are so many of them that it's hard to find a job the thing that is hard uh, I think is hiring hiring is very difficult as a in IT it's extremely difficult it's a lot more difficult than um, getting a job as a software developer I've found uh, I mean the first software developers job is always going to be tough but you know as I like to say if you're a junior software developer your first gauntlet to run is going to be to get your first uh, first real software developers job once you're at the mid level which usually happens between you know one to five years is the number that you is usually where you need to be in order to be like at a level where most people will yeah, identify you as like a junior up to mid level ish type of software developer in some cases you can reach all the way up to senior level depending on how you define it uh, in such a time frame uh, when you're in that space it's actually pretty good to be a software developer most uh, software developers are employed I think uh, last I checked this was a year or two ago now but I think that the um, uh, unemployment rate is like 0 0.1 percent or something like that insane like it's nothing it's, it's hilarious how uh, or how high the demand is for software developers. The thing that we have in droves, though, is that we like this uh, oversaturated part is people who know some basic coding. There's a lot of that. Like we have so many people who have subpar skills who don't really know how to do large scale or like serious serious uh, software development uh, for systems that are high value like big company systems or things like that there's a lot of people who know how to do some basic freelancing or like spinning up a simple application and so forth and these systems can absolutely be built for you know even for large companies a lot of large companies they outsource some like you know proof of concepts or smaller subsystems or so forth to consultants or freelancers or things like that uh, for better or for worse but they do and when you give someone a smaller project like that, I mean, you're really just building a small project for a large company. So just because you work for a large company doesn't mean that you're doing serious level software development. But when you get to the level where you need to build systems that are critical, like business critical to the like to the serious companies where they have a lot of volume, they have a lot of complexity in the door, like the business domain and all this stuff, which uh, we used to have architects, well we still have architects and so forth, but when it gets that complicated, finding people to, uh, that knows how to lead teams and uh, knows how to structure like um, a good and effective software department and actually bet on stable strong technology stacks and do education and all the stuff that is required in order to kind of get all of this to, to work as a symbiotic type of thing that is nigh on impossible it's so hard that uh, I have done now at least I think a hundred 
200 I, I don't know but it's I have lost count of how many interviews I've done and how many code reviews I uh, code reviews is even more uh, for different positions within different companies throughout my career and through all the time that I've done this stuff uh, I've only ever met around five people I think that I would call world-class software developers out of several hundreds and the reason being is not because I mean I've hi we've hired more people it's just that you have different levels of people and finding those superstar like awesome like yeah we are so they, 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 like the sort of people that you know Google puts on stage or like the sort of people where well it's not even just those people the sort of people that truly truly make the big difference in IT they are so rare it's like getting like well, you know one of those all-star football players or like hall of famers like it's so hard to find such an individual and in many cases that is the sort of individual that you need in order to do certain things because it's a this is a talent business if you're looking for someone who knows how to just write some basic code or like to write something that is like it's not supposed to work at large scale it doesn't have to have all that much much thought put into it you're drowning in that we're saturated to the point where it's ridiculous in in that part and that's where the saturation becomes a problem because for you as a person who's trying to find a job or for even for, you know, and also hiring the screening process is very difficult because uh, everybody says the same it's looks like the shampoo industry everybody's a senior something everybody's a senior developer so how do you know who's actually like really really good and who is not so good because the like, if, if everybody was you know meeting the same expectations of what a senior software developer is then you would know that well, every time I get a senior, I know I get someone who's really, really good and does all the things right. And I can tell you that that's not the case. I talk to a lot of people who have the title senior who can, you know, if you put them on a project, it's not going to work. Uh, they're not going to be able to do it or rather sustain it. Uh, then again, I mean, if if you ask me personally what I see, I can, my, my definition of senior is a little bit stricter than what the popular culture is. But it's actually funny. I talked to my engineering manager the other day and he actually just nodded and said, yeah, I completely agree with you. The term, so I've actually found some people now who actually understand what I mean when I say, you know, what my definition of senior is. Uh, and he just said, yeah, like, uh, the tech skills is just one part of it. And I said, the best way to summarize a senior, in my opinion, this is how I do it, is to say that a senior is an insurance that the product is going to meet success. That is the best way I can describe it. It is a person who is so good at what they're doing uh, at, uh, the, at uh, IT that they can basically guarantee that it's going to uh, you're, they're going to be able to deliver the technical vision that the company wants and that is everything from knowing like pretty much all the things about a lot of things in terms of technical skills it's soft skills it's business mindset being able to do product management to a certain degree except it ties into so many areas and it takes a lot of time and practice to get that right finding those people is as i said i might have met five people it's insane how difficult it is but to finding someone who sort of knows some coding a lot of those people and to a certain extent we still i mean that's that's the lucky part most companies are not looking for exclusively people like that but they need them <laughs> uh, but most of the time you can find like junior levels so many junior levels like there's tons and tons of them like sort of decent mid-level developers and like sort of as i said like normal quote-unquote seniors there's uh, there's a few of those going around. We're not sa we're not drowning in them, but there's enough of them to go around so that you can usually meet headcounts and so so forth. It just takes a lot of time because, as I said, it, it's not we're not drowning in software developers. Even the really bad ones have you know like the they they manage to find work in some cases because the companies are doing the hiring are either so desperate to find people or they simply don't know what a good software developer looks like. So what I want you to take away from this is that I don't think that the market is oversaturated in terms of like 
software talent if we talk about like really really good software developers we are it's a scarcity to the point it's so scarce that i think that the only sustainable way we're going to fix this problem is to simplify the development process we are never going to be able to sustain the current like exponential like complexity and like just growing of the domain of software development and at the same time have people who actually know all of this stuff it takes a it's going to take a lifetime for most people to get to that level of seniority so you have to simplify somehow usually i will argue that that is the better way to go which is incidentally what a lot of the big it companies do where they create like these work packages or like they try to simplify their internal processes so that they can hire people of lower skill at a discount uh, to do a lot of the coding which is i think a probably the sustainable model all things considered because hiring takes a lot of time and the reason why it takes such a long time is because most of those developers are already spoken for even the bad ones and that uh, then uh, there's an enormous amount like that's the only thing that is that you have in droves of people who sort of know some code that are usually irrelevant for larger or more serious projects uh, and it's not that common that the like the bulk of the co jobs are usually not found at the low end uh, companies of the world because they usually don't have the budgets that are necessary to invest in like really serious IT systems even though they of course would want them. There's a lot of off the you know low code off the shelf solutions and so forth that they usually invest in like these short term solutions. But most of the jobs are in uh, for software developers are in these larger scale systems or more serious projects where there are like there is a lot of money and finding people for, that can do work at that scale whew, that is hard have a great day